Most of you know how far Scientology will go to track down, identify, and harass people who criticize them online. One of the main ways they do this is by tracking IP addresses. This is exactly what they did to me back in 2010. Protect yourself from David Miscavige and his goons with the sponsor of today's video, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a virtual private network that sends all of your internet traffic through a protected encrypted tunnel. It protects you from spying, Wi-Fi intrusions, and most importantly, David Miscavige's goons. With a single Atlas VPN subscription, you can protect unlimited devices. Right now, with Atlas's Steel Black Friday deal, you can get Atlas VPN Premium for just $1.70 a month, plus six months extra with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This is the best Atlas VPN offer of the year, and it is a limited time offer, so be quick and get your deal by clicking on the link in the description down below. People ask how they can support the channel. One of the ways to do that is by supporting our sponsors, so thank you to all of you. Thank you again to Atlas VPN. And once again, check out the link in the description down below. Now let's talk about Shelly Miscavige and the LAPD. The LAPD has been forced to release a statement regarding the investigation into Shelly Miscavige's whereabouts. And this is in response to a Twitter thread that Leah Remini put up a couple days ago that has gone absolutely viral. This thing has uh, 159,000 likes as of right now, 28,000 retweets. And the Twitter thread is about the corruption in LAPD's Hollywood division and how this corruption has impacted and interfered with Leah Remini's efforts to make sure to verify that Shelly Miscavige is okay, that she is alive, that she knows that if she wants to leave Scientology, there is help available and that Leah will take care of her. In particular, Leah Remini called out commanding officer of the LAPD's Hollywood division, Corey Polka, who you can see here accepting a $20,000 check from a member of the Church of Scientology. She also called out um, Detective Andre Dawson, who's a lieutenant, or at least was, uh, in the LAPD. Here you can see uh, Lieutenant Andre Dawson literally speaking at a Scientology-sponsored human trafficking awareness event. And Leah Remini reported that Andre Dawson was the detective assigned, personally assigned, to the missing persons report that Leah made about Shelly Miscavige uh, many years ago at this point. Here is the statement that the LAPD put out just yesterday. LAPD responds to comments made by Leah Remini. Uh, the Los Angeles Police Department is aware of public assertions recently made by Leah Remini regarding a missing person investigation involving Shelly Miscavige. In 2014, Los Angeles Police Department detectives assigned to the missing persons unit went to Shelly Miscavige location and personally made contact with her and her attorney. Detectives found her to be alive and safe and subsequently closed the missing persons investigation. The missing persons unit handles adult missing cases throughout the city of Los Angeles and work out of LAPD's detective bureau. This case was not investigated by Hollywood division personnel and had no involvement by retired LAPD commander Corey Polka. Now, this is very interesting because they're trying to say that LAPD's corrupt Hollywood division had no involvement in the Shelley Miscavige issue, and yet the information that contradicts that came from the LAPD itself back in 2013. Tony Ortega explained over on the Underground Bunker blog that the way this played out is that on August 5th, 2013, Leah Remini filed a missing persons report on Shelly Miscavige. Three days later, Tony got a copy of this report and wrote a story about it. The mainstream media who paid any attention to this made a mistake and thought that because Tony wrote his article on August 8th, that the report, uh, the missing persons report was filed on August 8th. But in fact, it was filed three days earlier. So on August 8th, a bunch of media outlets sent in requests to the LAPD asking for information about we know what was happening with this missing persons report. And the LAPD responded to these press outlets by saying uh, the case or whatever you want to call it, the issue, the report had been closed and was determined to be unfounded. This created an impression to the media that this whole thing had been opened and closed within just a matter of hours. 
and none of the information about detectives actually going out and meeting with Shelly and her attorney was provided to the press at that time. In a follow-up that Tony did on all of this, he asked the LAPD to put him in touch with the detective in charge of the Shelly Miscavige investigation. And it is the LAPD who put Tony Ortega in, in touch with Lieutenant Andre Dawson of the Hollywood LAPD division. And it was Lieutenant Andre Dawson who told Tony Ortega back in 2013 that it was two of his detectives that had gone out and met in person with Shelly Miscavige. Here's how Tony described it. In part, it says, it was Dawson in 2013 who first told us that two of his detectives has, had gone to Shelly's location, which he would not reveal, and spoke to her. He told us all, he told us that all they could do was check to see if she was all right and that she had declined to make any kind of public statement. We asked Lieutenant Dawson if this meeting had occurred in the presence of other Scientology officials. That's classified, he said to us. Meanwhile, even though the LAPD had given the impression to reporters that Leah's report was a frivolous one that had been opened and closed on the same day, and even though they had given us more detail when we asked for it, the LAPD never responded to Leah herself. Three years later in 2016, Leah had an attorney file a formal request for information about the investigation with the LAPD, but the department refused to comply, saying that it did not have to share any more information about it with her. Well, why wouldn't they at least share the information with her that they shared with Tony Ortega. You sort of definitely get the impression here that LAPD's Hollywood division is going out of its way to kind of troll Leah Remini, give her a hard time, be obstructionist, which would be something they would probably be doing on behalf of their significant financial benefactor, David Miscavige and the Church of Scientology. Now, let me call your attention to the fact that in this statement put out by the LAPD, they say... Detectives went and met with Shelly and Shelly's attorney in 2014. Now, 2014 is not when the missing persons report was filed. It is not when Andre Dawson said that two detectives met, met, uh, went to go meet with Shelly Miscavige. So either the LAPD is being quite careless in the information that it's including in an official press release about Shelly Miscavige or one might conclude there's a possibility that detectives went out to check on her a second time. And also there was no mention previously of Shelly Miscavige's attorney, or oh, Shelly doesn't have an attorney. It just would have been whatever attorney the Church of Scientology hired. It was probably Kendrick Moxon, who even knows. So, But it's also the first mention ever being made of an attorney. So now we're left to wonder whether a second visit was made by LAPD detectives to Shelly Miscavige in 2014 that no one has ever known about before? Or does this press release show that not only are they getting the date completely wrong of when Shelly Miscavige was visited, but they're revealing information that up until this point has never been revealed about Shelly Miscavige actually having an attorney present? In either case, I'm not sure this press release really clears up very much. And it certainly does not put to rest any of the evidence that exists about the unbelievable corruption that exists in LAPD's Hollywood division, and in particular, the completely inappropriate relationship between Corey Polka, Andre Dawson, and David Miscavige in the Church of Scientology. And now the LAPD should come out and explain how contrary information was given out. How is it that Tony Ortega was referred to the Hollywood division and personnel in the Hollywood division to get his questions answered regarding the Shelley Miscavige investigation if now they're saying the Shelley Miscavige investigation was never handled by anyone in LAPD's Hollywood division to begin with. This press release has created more questions than it has answered. So that's all we know on this for right now. As we hear more about this, I will certainly share it with you, but that's all I have on this for now. Before I sign off, let me make my uh, usual little plug here for the Aftermath Foundation and these uh, gorgeous uh, Mike Rinder bobbleheads. You can get these at the spshop.com 
all proceeds from the SP shop go to the Aftermath Foundation that helps people who are escaping from Scientology, restarting their lives from scratch. Mike Rinder is on the board of the Aftermath Foundation, as am I. I can tell you that if Shelly Miscavige needed help leaving Scientology, it is the Aftermath Foundation that would 100% help her every step of the way. So um, we got a few hundred of these in stock recently, and they're not doing us any good on the shelves. So if you want one of these, jump over to the spshop.com and uh, get yourself one or two of them today. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thanks to everyone who watches until the very end, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see a, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, 